going to do a video today on installing a Jiffy DOS into this Commodore 64. This is a Commodore 64C. So when you order your Jiffy DOS, make sure you get the correct one. And this one will be a little more complicated because it doesn't have uh, the IC socket. We're going to have to solder it in. So we have solder iron here warming up. And here is my desoldering system here. It'll make uh, this job a lot quicker and a lot easier. So let's get started. One thing is we're gonna have to drill a hole here for putting on putting in the on and off switch. And I already this is a good spot here in the back. But our this is where I would put it. But I installed a reset switch here so I'll probably put it down here I'll probably drill a hole over here uh, it's best to remove the the uh, circuit board before you drill a hole so you don't injure it so let's go ahead and open this up this is just gonna be a little bit slower because I'm working with a camera so we have to use a bit like this and there's three screws here we got to remove and I'm gonna go ahead and do that after those three screws are removed, flip your Commodore back around and then this should lift up. If not, it has little uh, tabs on both sides. There you go, just force it up there a little bit and this will fold back. You're gonna have to unplug this light. This comes right out. And now we can get rid of this top piece for now. Move that to the side. A little dusty. While you're taking this apart, it's a good time to hit it with some canned air. Woo! Check that out. There you go. And now the keyboard has two screws to remove. Got one here and here. And that's just a regular Phillips. So we'll have to change our bits. Keyboard will just lift up, and then there's there's a plug here. On some 64Cs, the plug is here, and I have another one where it's in a different spot. So that just unplugs. Now you can set this off to the side. Next, we got to remove this shielding piece. This cable here is from the reset switch I installed. Uh, before. I don't know if I did a video on that or not. So I'm going to remove these six screws here. Got those six screws loosened up, I think. Uh, except for this one. There you go, remove the shielding. I'm going to set the screws to the side here. Dust this off while we have it off. So you have to find the the uh, kernel chip, and it's under U4. So on the Commodore C, it's here. Let's zoom in here. You can see right here it's U4. So it's not in a socket like like this chip. So we're going to have to unsolder this chip and solder in the new one. So that's where most of the work is. So we're going to have to remove. Uh, the circuit board now. So I just drilled the hole here. Be sure to shift the circuit board to the side like I just said because the drill is going to puncture through and it's going to damage these circuits if you don't. So we got to flip this over. We need chip U4. There's two different sizes on the Commodore 64C so make sure you count the number of pins and order the right one. So let's just flip this over and we have to desolder this this section right here. So let's let's get started. Oh. 
this is where a desolder station is really going to come in handy. So now I've tested the the socket and we're going to flip it over and solder in all these pins. So let's go ahead and do that. This should, this should go pretty smooth, pretty quick. So be sure to go back and check your work. We got that side done. I like to use that little magnifying glass. I don't know if I can get that to focus in the camera. And that's how I check all of my solder points. And I'm going to go and do this side now. I got one little problem. We're going to have to put a little jumper in. One of the um, traces lifted, lifted off the board. So it's a minor problem. We can fix that. So a little problem I had was a trace came up off here. So I got out my multimeter. And I track down where the trace went. It went from this fifth pin up here to the sixth pin up here. So I don't know if I could fix it or not. So I just put a jumper in here. And that ought to do it. Just make sure it's on there secure. And let's put this back together and test it out. All right, before I put it back together all the way, let's test this out. All right, Jiffy Dawes, 1607. Let's see if my reset switch here still works. Okay, here's the Jiffy Dawes switch. Now hit the reset. Goes back to Dawes mode, turn it back to Jiffy Dawes. Hit reset. All right, it looks like this might be working. So, thanks for watching this video. Took longer than I thought. I had a few little problems. I had to put a jumper wire in. I, um, had to make the uh, socket fit. That took a while, but I think it's worth it. So, thanks for watching. Post in the comments below any questions. Thank you.